You know, most people are afraid of rejection. It is something that we all have to overcome as humans. And why is that? Why are we afraid of being rejected and you're even subconsciously doing things to try and prevent rejection? Well, as children, we have emotional needs that need to be met. And if our parents didn't meet them, there's a level of rejection. Now, there's all kinds of rejection in our life experience, from parents not meeting our needs to siblings being unkind to us, sending us away, I don't want to play with you. Those are deep wounds in the parenting experience, and they're sort of those repetitive rejection experience of, we don't want to play with you, get out of here, we don't like you. So a lot of that can get accumulated as a child. And then you move into your social years, you might get rejected by a friend or a peer group. They come right out and say, we're rejecting you. No, that is just like they're not welcoming, they're not feeling invited. So we turn it into rejection when we don't even have the full story a lot of the time. So we build a lot more into rejection in our own minds than probably is really happening in our world unless there is a really clear example in your life of a parent abandoning you and abusing you, um, siblings really being abusive to you and saying, I never want to talk to you again. Rejection at that level is rejection. You've been rejected. The accumulation of all the scenarios where we did not feel invited, welcomed, and wanted and throughout our life, we turn into rejection and we feel bad. We feel anything from ashamed, worthless, to just, you know, feeling bad about ourselves. And so we're, we carry around this fear that others won't like us, that we'll be ashamed for something we've said or done, that we'll have compulsive thoughts replay in our minds, thinking about what did I say, what did I do, why did I say that, why did I do that, I shouldn't have done that. And we worry that no one wants to be with us. And so that is super common. So don't get, be too hard on yourself. Do you want to clear that? Do you want to be free of that though? Do you want to be a magnet for the right people and experiences that are meant to be in your life and trust you're being accepted, included, invited, and you're attracting what's right for you and let the rejection piece go? It's a lot to manage. I've been able to pretty much do that. I don't have, I think of the most recent time you dealt with the feeling of rejection. Okay, now share in a comment. How recent was it? Now let's say, let's alter that a bit. What about you were afraid you'd be rejected or you didn't feel wanted or included or invited? You felt bad about something. And then you talked about it with maybe a, sibling or a friend well they weren't very you know about the person that you feel is rejecting you maybe not in such clear terms how recent i don't have any recent my i've been i've really worked this one because i certainly it was a big thing i carried for most of my life i'd say it's been the past in the last decade i've really cleaned it up so i've done all this inner work and you can too because you want to attract good and kind people to you. You want to enjoy every experience with your friends without going over it in your head after the experience. You want to fill your minds with positive, happy memories and feel accepted by yourself and others. Who wants that? Do you want that? Share in a comment. I want that. I'm going to create that. Well, that's the good news. You can create it. So this little mini tapping session is going to help you release the fear that others will reject you unless you, if you're, you know, if you've got to alter your true self in order to remove the rejection pattern, that is not the case. You want to be your true self. You want to be authentic and be loved and accepted for who you are. Because that's a big part of the pattern is being someone you're not to try and prevent rejection. Like, I don't want, I've got to protect myself. You've either got to put up the walls and remove yourself and become more isolated as a human to prevent rejection or you've got to constantly figure out how to show up so other you know in this well how do others want me to be so they'll accept me do you do that i want to help you that's that's exhausting so let's like go of that
All right, now you've thought of that time in your life recently when you experienced rejection. Now finish this sentence three times. When I was rejected, I felt. What comes up? First word. When I was rejected, I felt. When I was rejected, I felt. If you can, grab a um, pen and a note, little piece of paper, write those down. Disappointed, angry, frustrated, mad, sad, uh, confused. Could have been any category like that. We're going to include those in this clearing. So you want to make note of those. All right, let's go. We're going to start with our face and torso points. We're going to just, I do need to have my glasses on because I do have the script written down here. We're going to just let it go. I am free. Repeat after me. I am free of creating the pattern of rejection in my life. I am loved and accepted for who I am. All right, start tapping on the inside of your eyebrow. And you can just listen. You can just speak the words. You can tap on your collarbone points. You can tap at your own speed. It's up to you. Scared. Afraid I have to alter myself to fit in. I have to change who I am to be accepted under the eye. Letting go of all the times I was rejected. Letting go of all the times I believed I was rejected, even though I might not have been. Releasing, ashamed of how I acted. Embarrassed by what I said. Letting go of the judgment. Collarbone points. I made a fool of myself. Let it go. Scared I'll be rejected if I'm myself. Under the arm. Got to keep up my guard. Can't let you in. Don't get too close. Because you'll reject me. Keep creating the pattern of rejection over and over. Release it from its origins. From my childhood. From when it really did happen. Letting go of I need your approval to feel good about myself. Let it go. Take a deep breath and <sighs> oh no. Let's just tap right here and repeat those. When I was rejected, I felt sad. Say yours. When I was rejected, I felt angry. When I was rejected, I felt like I wanted to go away and hide. Those just came to me. Include yours. I'm letting all of those experiences go now. Just hold your hand still on your heart center. I forgive myself for all the effort I've made to keep myself from being rejected. I now am free of this pattern. I'm accepted for who I am. Take a deep inhale. Let's start those reframes. I am ready for full and complete acceptance of myself. As I accept the true me, others easily accept the true me. Acceptance begins with me. I am grateful I easily attract good and kind people into my life. I am experiencing the goodness and kindness of the people currently in my life. I'm accepted. I am confident and expressing my authentic self. I am feeling good. I am confident in what I said and how I acted. I'm enjoying this process of change. I am moving through. Tap all over your body. Let those new insights and beliefs settle in. If you've got a few more, just tap them in. I am making those connections. So that's a little mini experience of a lot more amazing materials and resources that are at the Carol Tuttle Healing Center. I've got a free energy healing course for you. 
It's very simple. You'll get huge results from it. It will give you a lot of information about what is energy healing? Why do I want to do it? And why is it more important than ever that I joined in on this? Just go to caroltuttle.com forward slash basics guide. Thanks for subscribing and hitting that notification button. Your subscriptions really help us stay present out there and getting this information in front of people. And my goodness, the world really needs it. I'm Carol Tuttle. I'm a best-selling author and a very um, world-renowned, highly recognized healer, which I truly am. So it's just a pleasure to be able to support you here for free on YouTube. Take my free energy healing course at caroltuttle.com forward slash basics guide. We'll see you in the next video.